Jackson stood on the rooftop, overlooking the sprawling city below. The concrete jungle, once a symbol of progress, was now a battleground between nature and industry. Vines crept up skyscrapers, reclaiming what was once lost. Jackson's eyes scanned the horizon, noting the eerie green glow that signaled the presence of the hidden grove, the heart of their secret society. The grove was a sanctuary, a place where the arcane warriors gathered to plan their next moves against the corporation that was choking the life out of the city. Each warrior, including Jackson, possessed unique magical abilities tied to nature. Tonight, they would convene to strategize their next act of eco-rebellion. The city's heartbeat pulsed beneath Jackson's feet, a constant reminder of their mission. Jackson descended from the rooftop, his movements fluid and precise. His attire, a blend of urban streetwear and tactical gear, allowed him to blend seamlessly into the city's environment. He moved through the back alleys, avoiding the watchful eyes of corporate drones. His destination was a nondescript warehouse, a front for the grove hidden below. Entering the warehouse, Jackson was greeted by fellow warriors. They were a diverse group, each with their own specialties. Thalia, the healer, could mend wounds with a touch and accelerate plant growth. Corin, the infiltrator, could merge with shadows and move unseen. Together, they formed a formidable team dedicated to protecting the city's natural balance. As they descended into the grove, the atmosphere changed. The air was thick with the scent of damp earth and blooming flowers. The hidden sanctuary was a stark contrast to the world above, a lush oasis filled with ancient trees and mystical plants. At the center of the grove stood an ancient oak, its bark etched with runes that glowed faintly in the dim light. This was their meeting place, where plans were made and strategies discussed. The ancient oak tree seemed to pulse with life as the warriors gathered around it. Jackson placed his hand on the tree's bark, feeling the energy flow through him. The runes glowed brighter in response, signaling that the meeting was about to begin. The air was thick with anticipation as the warriors took their places around the tree. Thalia stepped forward, her green eyes shimmering with determination. We have received new intelligence about the corporation's latest project, she announced. They are planning to drain the city's last remaining natural reservoir to fuel their factories. If they succeed, the city's delicate ecosystem will collapse. Murmurs of concern rippled through the group. Jackson clenched his fists, anger boiling within him. The corporation's greed knew no bounds. He looked at Corin, who nodded in silent agreement. It was time to take action. The warriors needed a plan that would not only stop the corporation, but also expose their misdeeds to the public. We will need to act swiftly and decisively, Jackson said, his voice steady and resolute. Corin, I need you to gather intelligence on the reservoir's security. Thalia, prepare your healing herbs. We may have injuries. The rest of us will focus on disrupting their operations and gathering evidence. The warriors dispersed, each heading to their respective tasks. Jackson remained by the tree for a moment longer, seeking strength and guidance from the ancient spirit that resided within it. The mission ahead was fraught with danger, but failure was not an option. The future of the city depended on their success. Jackson moved through the shadows of the city, his mind focused on the mission ahead. The urban landscape was a maze of towering buildings and narrow alleyways, each hiding potential threats. He needed to reach the reservoir undetected, gather intel, and disrupt the corporation's plans. The weight of responsibility pressed heavily on his shoulders, but he was determined to succeed. As Jackson approached the reservoir, he noticed an increased presence of corporate security. Drones patrolled the perimeter, and armed guards stood watch at key points. He activated his cloaking ability, blending into the darkness. Moving with silent precision, he crept closer to the target, his senses heightened and alert. Corin had provided valuable information about the security layout, allowing Jackson to navigate the area with relative ease. He planted devices to disrupt the drone's signals and disable security cameras. His movements were swift and calculated, leaving no trace of his presence. 
The reservoir loomed ahead, a massive structure that held the city's last natural water source. Jackson paused to take in the sight. The reservoir was a stark contrast to the surrounding urban decay, its clear waters reflecting the moonlight. He felt a pang of sorrow at the thought of it being drained for the corporation's greed. This place needed protection, and he was willing to risk everything to ensure its survival. With the security systems disrupted, Jackson began gathering evidence. He took photographs and recorded video footage of the reservoir and the corporation's plans. This evidence would be crucial in exposing their misdeeds to the public. As he worked, he felt a surge of determination. The warriors would not let this stand. They would fight for the city and its natural beauty. With the evidence secured, Jackson made his way back to the grove. The journey was perilous, but he navigated the urban labyrinth with ease. His mind raced with the information he had gathered. The corporation's plan was even more insidious than they had anticipated. They were not just draining the reservoir, they were using the water to power a new experimental technology that could further devastate the environment. Upon reaching the grove, Jackson immediately convened a meeting with the other warriors. The atmosphere was tense as he laid out the evidence before them. This is worse than we thought, he began. The corporation is developing a technology that could irreversibly damage the city's ecosystem. We need to act now and we need to be strategic. The warriors reviewed the evidence, their expressions growing grimmer with each passing moment. Thalia's face was etched with worry while Corin's eyes blazed with anger. We need to expose them, Thalia said. If the public knows what's happening, they will stand with us. We can turn the tide against the corporation. Jackson nodded in agreement. Corin, prepare a message to be broadcasted across the city. We need to reach as many people as possible. Thalia, gather the healing supplies. We might face resistance. The rest of us will focus on preparing the grove for any retaliatory attacks. We cannot let them destroy what we have built. As the warriors dispersed to carry out their tasks, Jackson felt a renewed sense of purpose. The stakes were higher than ever, but so was their determination. The grove pulsed with energy, a living testament to their resolve. The city needed them now more than ever, and they would not back down. The message from the warriors spread quickly throughout the city. Citizens began to gather in the streets, fueled by a mix of anger and hope. The corporation tried to suppress the information, but it was too late. The people were ready to fight back. Jackson and his team prepared for the inevitable confrontation, their hearts filled with a mix of fear and determination. As dawn broke, the grove was a hive of activity. The warriors armed themselves with their magical abilities and prepared for the battle ahead. Jackson stood at the forefront, his mind focused and clear. The ancient oak tree seemed to pulse with energy, as if lending its strength to the warriors. The air was charged with anticipation, and the fate of the city hung in the balance. The confrontation began at the heart of the city, where the corporation's headquarters stood like a monolith of greed and corruption. The warriors moved in, their abilities blending seamlessly with the urban environment. Vines erupted from the ground, ensnaring guards and tearing down barriers. Jackson led the charge, his every move calculated and precise. As the battle raged on, the citizens joined the fight. Inspired by the warriors' courage, they took to the streets, dismantling the corporation's infrastructure and reclaiming their city. Thalia moved through the crowd, healing the wounded and bolstering their spirits. Corin used his shadow abilities to sabotage the corporation's defenses, creating chaos and confusion. In the end, the corporation's stronghold fell and the city was free. The warriors stood victorious, their mission accomplished. The grove remained a sanctuary, a symbol of hope and resilience. Jackson looked out over the city, a sense of peace washing over him. The battle was won, but the fight for the environment would continue. Together they had sparked a revolution, one that would shape the future of their world.